Trucks stuck at the Rafah crossing between Gaza and Egypt are to be allowed to deliver their precious cargo of humanitarian aid. Israel has given the go-ahead for 20 trucks carrying food, water and medicine to pass this week. It comes as U.S. President Joe Biden left after his visit to Israel. Egypt's leader sanctioned the move after a Biden call from Air Force One. Biden's mission had been to prevent a wider escalation of the conflict in the region. But key leaders cancelled a summit and in the end it was only Israeli politicians he met. It was agreed humanitarian assistance can begin to move from Egypt to Gaza. Let me be clear, if Hamas diverts or steals the assistance, they will have demonstrated once again that they have no concern for the welfare of the Palestinian people. According to officials, the death toll has risen to 471 after the Al Hali hospital blast. The bloody explosion set Biden's diplomatic intentions. The U.S. president has accepted Israel's strong denial of any involvement in the tragedy. It claims it was caused by a misfired Palestinian militant rocket. Hamas and much of the Arab world blames Israel for the blast. Huge anti-Israel protests continue in the Middle East. The blast at the hospital has heightened anger, already boiling over to Israel's bombardment and blockade of Gaza. The death toll in the Palestinian enclave has risen above 3,000. But some families of those taken hostage by Hamas are furious at the report of aid allowed into Gaza.